cats all day. And that doesn't make any money. So you have to be effective. Like we don't get paid for telling people. We get paid for people getting into the business. So obviously, you want to get a big, big business. Um, you know, one thing, this is weird, you know, having to read it, but you, know, you want to study people who are very good. What I did personally, I found three people. I found one person that I worked with every day that I could relate to. Okay, I found one person on the internet that was very high up in Vima that I thought could speak very well that I couldn't hang out with. And I found another person who's actually, he's dead right now, but on the internet that I could never meet. And I watched all three of them every day. Every night when people went home after the event, they went out to eat, they partied, they did whatever they wanted to do. I went home and I watched those three people speak every single night. Because you have to study successful people if you ever want to be successful. And what, you, what the biggest thing is, is people try and get in this and they try and invent their own wheel. You don't do that. We already have a system in place. Tom and Bethany Alcazan passed down to Jed, passed down to Chris, passed down to us. We have a system in place. It's working. I think that's a lot of people's problem is they try and do it on their own. You have to study success. The biggest thing, this is the third point, is the five M's. You know, Jed says it everywhere he goes because it's very, very important. More meetings means more money. That's Hell yeah. I people get on board, they're like, I'm going to come to an event Tuesday and Thursday and that's it. I'm like, you have fun never ranking fancy. Yeah. yeah. You, have to go. you have to go to an event. I go to an event every single day. You'll never, you'll never catch me not at an event. You're going to ask my parents. They're like, oh, you go to so many of those. Yes, because I want it to happen. You know, more meetings means more money. I can't stress that to you enough. Um, the next thing, point four, is uh, Austin talked about a little bit, is guard yourself from negative self-talk. You know, guard your mind. Don't let people urinate in your brain like he said. You have to, <laughs> you have to understand, people aren't going to always see the vision. Yes. You know, it's very true what we say. This is not for everybody. Yep. You know, we need people to do the average jobs. You know, we need people to do other things. You have to understand that the normal person, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody, but the normal person, <laughs> the normal person isn't going to see this thing and automatically think they can make a million dollars. Because if you don't know this, human beings are naturally negative people. Right. So they see something and they look at the negative more than the positive. You know, one, one thing I realized is you have to be excited during home events. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Look at yeah. look at anyone making a bunch of money, they're not chill. You know? <laughs> In the back, you can't even hear me. You know, it's not like, you know, uh, you know, I make a million dollars. So they don't do that. You have to be excited. Because if you don't realize like most people don't know this, out of your decision making, 20% of it is logical and 80% is emotional. Wow. See, me, yes. at my first home event, everyone was excited. I didn't know a single person in the entire room, but I signed up. You know why? Because I was thinking on my emotions. If you look at it, it was a terrible decision when you think about it because I acted completely on my emotions, but it paid off very well. I, if you look at it, I'm saying, I'm saying logical. That was, that was a horrible logical decision to make. But I did it anyway because I was so jacked out of my mind. It's, not, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Yes. You have to put emphasis on things. Uh, the fifth point is for when, you're, when, you're, when you're becoming a leader, you know, when you're teaching other people how to lead, you have to focus on the positives, not the negatives. See, but when I saw Jay speak for the first time, it was terrible. But what I did, I said, I said, Jay, that was amazing. You know, because it got him happy. You have to focus on things he's good at. You, you, he's, re he's, really, he's really good now. But, but in the beginning, he wasn't. But I didn't, I didn't say, oh, you sucked at that. Oh, you sucked at that. I said, bro, you were amazing at that. You were amazing. That was amazing. That's phenomenal. We need to work on that. Because if you focus on people's good attributes, they're going to rise. If you focus on their negatives, they're just not going to talk to you. Like, wow. You know? um, the sixth point, and this is like, I live my life by this, dude. It's how you do anything is how you do everything. Oh, you know? yes. Everyone's heard how you do anything is how you do everything. Yeah. You see me like brush my teeth, you'd be like, this guy is a monster. <laughs> 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 like, that wow. Dude. That guy right there, he's going somewhere. <laughs> you know? Because how I, how I do anything is how I do everything. Um, the next point is uh, number, or number seven, and it's the time is never perfect. There's, there's that, that cheesy quote. You know, there's no such thing as a perfect moment. You have to take the moment and make it perfect. Oh! Yes. Yes. Woo! The, the time is right now. Because see, for me, I sucked. I relied on Julian, Austin, Felipe, other people in my upline to do everything for me for my first month and a half in this business. And then when everyone left, excuse my language, I grew a pair, okay? Yeah! <laughs> I was going to do it for myself. I wasn't going to wait on anybody any else because there was no one there. You know, I actually, it's kind of a cool story about uh, like 20 or so people showed up to the event and everyone was in San Diego and I was like, literally, I think I was bronze at the time. And I, I had no speaking skills and 20 people showed up. 
and everyone else there was a member except for me. So obviously everyone looked at me to do everything, so I had to make a decision. It was, was I going to get these people on board, or was I going to watch them walk away? Come on. So, obviously, so obviously I stood up, and I did it. And from that day, I become effective. It's very simple. You want to get good at public speaking? Speak publicly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! It's very simple. Damn. You want to get good at basketball, you study Michael Jordan. You hear it at every single event. You want to get good at public speaking, speak publicly. Watch people who have what you want and study them. Uh, the last thing, and this is something, <laughs> this is something I actually heard from Miles, uh, is you don't, you don't want to be the king. You want to be the king maker. Okay? Mm. You, don't want to be, you don't want to be the guy. You want to enroll the guy. As bad as that sounds, that's what you want. You want to have the guy in your network. You want to work with the guy. You don't want to be the guy. Does that make sense? Because it's all about duplication. If, you, if everyone relies on you to do everything, yes. you're doing something wrong. Wow. You've got to have people in your team that can effectively, not good, effectively speak and present when you're not in the room. That's called leverage. That's what you want. You know, that's why you have people out here, you know, now they don't need to work with me and my team anymore. You know, other teams like that because they, they took me and made me a leader. They made me what I needed to be. And now it naturally happens that, like, literally, I can't thank, you know, Julian Austin Felipe enough for hanging out with me every single day. Because them naturally teaching me how to be, become a leader now, I, like, them, them teach me how to become a leader, naturally put it in my life where I naturally made Jay a leader. I don't even know what I did, but it just happened. Yeah. It happened because I hung out with him every single day. Damn. If you're, if this is the craziest, if you are a member, do not hang out with members. Like, what are you doing? You gotta hang yeah. out. You gotta hang out with people making a lot of money. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the product of your five closest friends. Woo! If you're five closest friends net worth is not 10 times you, you're doing something wrong. You gotta hang out with people making a lot of money. Um, I guess, yeah, that's all my points. What I wanna say is, is like really, you know, the key to everything is talking with people, work hard. You know, me personally, I'd rather have a hardworking bronze in my team than a gold who's comfortable. Because the gold, because the bronze or the gold will never hit diamond, and the bronze will. Does that make sense? You cannot get comfortable. Dude, when I hit like ambassador, I'll get comfortable for like 15 seconds. Okay? <laughs> and I'll be going at it because we have to realize every second you're not working, someone is. Yeah. Every second you're not improving on it, someone is. Okay. Um, there's, there's, there's kind of this is more. Of my, I actually don't have a lot of the stuff I was going to talk about. It was all on my slide. But there's three things that you want to do when you when you when you're like talking to your prospect, okay, or your friend that you bring out to the event. Okay, there's an open, a presentation, and a close. Okay, the open is how you talk to your friend before the event. When you're whether it's you know, inviting him or whatever, you want to ask people questions. Okay, W I I F N. That's what everyone wants to know. What's in it for me? Yes. I could be standing up here at a home event making a million dollars a week. No one cares. The newest people do not care. They want to know how it's going to affect them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's why when I speak, I don't brag about anything. Yeah. I tell you what you can get, you know, and I edify with people all the time. The one thing that you cannot teach, you cannot teach conviction, and it is the number one cause for success, I truly believe, is conviction. You know, I, I, like I say in every home event, my biggest day ever was $635. If you do the math, that's $200,000 a year. I don't make that. I'm just telling you the potential that this has. I say that at every event, and I'm so convicted that people come up to me and ask me, how long did it take you to make six-figure income? I'm not, I'm not even making $2,000 a month, okay? And people ask me that because I'm so convicted and I know where I'm going. Go. There's, there's, there's nothing, nothing in this world that can stop me from making a million dollars in this business. And that... Don't, guys, don't get excited about me. Dude, look in the mirror and get excited about yourself. Yeah. ABC, and it's always be closing. Yep. Okay, every second you're closing, whether it's at an event <coughs> or at your house, when you wake up in the morning, you close yourself on the fact that you should get out of bed. You're always closing. 
So why not make it to where you can effectively close in the business? That's the number one thing. It doesn't matter how good me or Miles or Chris or Julian or Austin or anyone on this front or anyone in the crowd speaks, if you can't close. Okay? It, does, it doesn't matter. It also doesn't matter if you can't speak how good, well, uh, actually, that's not true. <laughs> like, Chris can close anyone no matter how bad the presentation is. <laughs> For so long, you got to you got to well around yourself in this business. You got to get good at everything. Um, let's see. I talked about yeah. Okay, like who in here likes like the verb opportunity? Who believes this is a good opportunity? Hell yeah! So why do you act scared when you talk to people? <laughs> Dang. Like, <laughs> I like this guy. If you, <laughs> you know. Like, Verve for young people is like doctors for broke people. Yeah. You know? There's so many people. I was just in San Diego. There's so many people making so much money. And they do not care about anything. They have no worries. I was in, uh, I was actually, we did the YPR video. I was blessed enough to be, you know, in that. And we, uh, we, we were staying there. It was me and like 10 ambassadors. I felt so broke. And uh, <laughs> one of the guys, it was actually Luke Kish, he was telling a story. And this is just kind of show you where this thing is going. He was telling a story in a crowd of like 10 people, and he had his phone in his hand. And here, I'll, I'll use my phone, okay? He's talking, right? He's telling a story. He gets into it. In the middle of the story, he goes like that. Oh, <laughs> I did not mean to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try, let me try. Let me try. He goes like this. He goes, he goes like that, right? And a normal person would go, oh my God. And they would like, like scramble to pick it up. No, he talked for 10 more minutes, okay? 10 minutes, didn't even look at his phone. Okay, walks up to it after he's done telling the story, picks it up, never looks at the face, puts it in his pocket. Because he doesn't care because he has so much money. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but that's the life I would like to live. Yeah! yeah. All this last thing, and, and everything, you know, obviously massive action is amazing, but you have to be confident. It doesn't matter what you do if you aren't confident in anything. Because me, I had a lot, of, a lot of negativity in the beginning, and like I said, it took me seven weeks to make any money at all. You know, it took me, you know, three months to be breaking even every month. You know, and it was very hard. I went through a lot of struggles, but I was so confident. I didn't care. I had people like commenting on my Twitter statuses, like, you know, F you, F FEMA, that thing's stupid. Uh -huh. It's not going to work. So I lost it. But one thing that Jed says, I never lost any friends. I just realized what was more important, you know, but, wow. but you know, I had a lot, of, a lot of negativity in my life. But I was so confident because I knew I was going to do this thing. I actually have a picture of a kid that tweeted me. And he said, I'm 100% confident you'll never make a million dollars, dude. It's the background on my laptop. I look at it every day. <laughs> you know? no. Yeah! No. You, have, you have to be so confident. People should be scared not to follow you. Yes. Hey, that's not original. That's from somebody else making like more money in two weeks than most people make in their life. Okay? You have to be so confident people are scared not to follow you. Okay? Me and my team told events, people know we're going to make a million dollars. People know it. People are scared when they don't have $500 to sign up. Seriously. Like People, people are, are amazed at how me and my team do things, and it's all thanks to the leaders in your upline. You have, in the beginning, you have to rely on your upline. Okay, but then, about two weeks, three weeks into this, you should be on your own. That's what I truly believe. It doesn't take that long, because I could have done it a long time ago. I just was too big of a pansy to do it myself. <laughs> Seriously, that's what it, a lot of you in this room, and my team especially, I can't judge other teams, need to step up. A lot of people. A lot of people need to step up. Like there's, there's no reason that eight people should be texting me every day, come to my event. There's no reason. And it shouldn't be for any other upline. There's no reason. You can do things on your own. You don't need anyone to help you. Okay, so like I said, study people that have what you want. You know, Listen to Jim Rohn. Like he'll tell you anything. Say what he says in events. You're going to make a million dollars. <laughs> Study people who have what you want. Do everything they do, and you'll get what they have. Yeah. So, Let's go. Thank Let's you, guys. Go. Yeah! yeah! Fucking dig deep. You fucking kill it. Let's get away. Yeah!